Welcome back to Shutter Minds. Today, we're diving into the world of vintage photography with a review of the Kershaw 110 camera. Introduced in 1954, this medium format camera is a straightforward but well-crafted piece of photographic history. If you're into classic cameras or curious about the simplicity of mid 20th century photography, you'll find this review insightful. Overview of the Kershaw 110 camera. The Kershaw 110 is as basic as it gets, yet it's built to last. Manufactured in Yorkshire, England, it's a medium format camera that uses 120 film, producing square images measuring six by six centimeters or two and a quarter inches square. This camera is perfect for those who appreciate the vintage aesthetic and the charm of old school photography. Key features. One of the most striking features of the Kershaw 110 is its minimalistic design. It offers almost no choice of settings, just two aperture options, f11 and f16. This limitation means you'll need to work with the available light and perhaps a bit of luck to get the exposure just right. The lens is fixed focus, so there's no need to adjust for sharpness, but it also means you're limited in how close you can get to your subject. It's designed for straightforward everyday photography, not for close-ups or detailed shots. The camera has just one shutter speed, which is relatively slow by today's standards. This isn't the camera for capturing fast action, but it's ideal for still subjects or landscapes where you can take your time with the shot. Personal experience and tips. I bought my Kershaw 110 for 20 British pounds, and I have to say, it was a worthwhile investment for anyone interested in medium format photography. However, if you're thinking of getting one, be sure to check the bellows for light leaks. The bellows are the folding part of the camera that extends and retracts. Over time, these can develop small holes or cracks that let in light and ruin your photos. Some people have patched these leaks with glue, but it's not a perfect solution. Professional repairs can cost more than the camera itself, so it's something to consider before making your purchase. I've included some unedited images I took with my Kershaw 110 to see if the camera was still functional. These photos aren't flawless, but they really showcase that vintage look that many photographers love. The images have a soft, nostalgic quality, and the square format enhances this retro vibe. History of Kershaw Kershaw was a British camera manufacturer based in Leeds, Yorkshire established in the early 20th century. The company gained a solid reputation for producing well-built cameras, including the Kershaw 110 and more advanced folding models. At its peak, Kershaw was one of the leading camera makers in the UK, known for its sturdy and reliable designs. However, like many companies of that era, Kershaw struggled to keep up with the rapid advancements in photography particularly the shift to 35mm film and more sophisticated cameras. Unable to compete, Kershaw eventually ceased production and faded into history. Despite this, cameras like the Kershaw 110 remain cherished by collectors and enthusiasts, serving as reminders of a simpler time in photography. Conclusion In summary, the Kershaw 110 is a delightful piece of photographic history. It's not a camera for everyone. Its simplicity and lack of settings may be a drawback for those accustomed to modern digital cameras. But for those who appreciate vintage cameras and enjoy the challenge of working with limitations, the Kershaw 110 is a worthy addition to any collection. Whether you're a seasoned photographer looking to experiment with medium format film or a beginner who wants to try something different, this camera offers a unique and rewarding experience. Just remember to inspect those bellows before buying, and you'll be on your way to capturing some beautifully nostalgic images. Thanks for tuning in to Shutter Minds. 
If you enjoyed this review, don't forget to like, subscribe, and drop a comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the Kershaw 110 or any other vintage cameras that have caught your interest. Until next time, happy shooting.